Evening guys, welcome back to Fox Speed Shop, Tim here. Um, we haven't looked at anything mid-century Ford for a while now as we've been focusing on the Fiat. Um, so what we're going to have a look at doing tonight is uh, building an alternator bracket for this uh, 1955 Y-Block Ford. Right, so what we're going to try and do is mount this, which is a classic mini alternator probably about 60 amp if I remember rightly, um, mount this onto the Y-Block Ford. Now what I don't have is an original alternator bracket for this. They probably are made, but being Ford, it's a little bit difficult to get hold of. So what I've done is I've drilled and tapped, or enlarged and tapped the hole in the, uh, the cylinder head there to accept an M10 bolt or some M10 threaded rod. Okay, we are talking about working in the UK here, so a lot of this is going to be uh, metric. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang the alternator on there, and we're gonna work out where the brackets are gonna go. I've already calculated, we're gonna put them, run it off the, uh, the two studs on the water pump there. All right, we'll fine tune the alignment um, of the uh, the V-Drive belts at a later date um, with spacers we'll also machine a bush to go in here um, what we're really interested in doing is getting the mount built between here and there and uh, we'll do that mock that up with uh, a little bit of cardboard and then we'll make that out of well what's the metric equivalent of 20 gauge uh, sorry 18 gauge steel so it's about 40 thou, um, around about a millimeter. Um, we'll fold some lines into it, kind of make it replicate uh, the ones that you can buy off the shelf, ensure that we've got some strength in there. What we've also got is a, uh, a rose jointed uh, belt tensioner here, which again will mount to where the, uh, the timing pointer is down there. So that will set in there and we'll be able to then adjust this threaded rod to set the belt tension. Um, it's hanging on there reasonably nicely at the moment. You can see down from the front here in terms of the layout of the pulleys. And it shouldn't get in the way of much, bearing in mind this is going into a shoebox Ford. And there isn't really a lot down here. Um, the uh, position of where the cross member goes it's going to be roughly along there so we should have clearance of course if we don't I'll have to do some modification later on but we'll certainly clear where the header pipes are going okay so I've just roughly mocked up a cardboard template here uh, with a, a bit of a rough fold in it just to ensure that I can get the angles vaguely right when I transfer this across to metal and then we'll uh, We'll chop it out and we'll bend it, hammer it into shape, get it to fit, then measure the bore for the holes, get it all to line up nicely. As I say, it's uh, not a particularly thick piece of metal, but by the time we've uh, folded some lines in there, we should get enough strength to do what we need. Okay, so we've marked out roughly, scribed on here, uh, where the template um, was sitting. And I'm just going to slice out this, as I say, about 18 gauge steel. These are not my favorite cutting shears. So they're a bit awkward to work with, but we'll roughly cut this into shape. Okay, you can see I haven't cut out the uh, the tabs there. We can we can do that later on, but we've roughly got the uh, roughly got the shape. Um, and what I will do is I'll hammer this back into a flat piece with the dolly in a second, and then we'll be able to 
mark our little fold line and try it up against the uh, the piece where it needs to go so what i've done is on the back side here i've marked out my fold lines here and my fold line there roughly can be tweaked later on i've also marked where we're going to do the uh, the fold down the center to enable this to actually get a bit more strength to it than it has at the moment we'll be able to see whether i need to weld any gussets or anything into it later on now we are in the middle of a covid lockdown again here in the uk at the minute so uh, a lot of my decent tools that i would do this with are at my other workshop so in the absence of anything better in terms of a juggling tool i'll just be using a pair of water pump pliers to uh, roughly bend this over and to start to get some of the shape into it it's not really the ideal tool but it will at the very least start to get a fold on this piece of metal and i'll finish that off camera with a hammer and a heel dolly and we'll just get that to uh, actually have a nice fold down there Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, put that bend in there a little bit better than it was before. I've also back folded these two edges and dollied them into shape. So we've now actually got a very stiff piece of material. Um, so when I lose that there, I bend these tabs into shape, mark them up to drill them, and then obviously all of the, uh, the folding over the edges there, bending these into shape, I can then sort of dress all of this off uh, nicely with a, uh, a sanding tool of some description. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the, uh, the shape very roughly modeled in there. Um, now in order to actually work out fully where these are gonna lie at this side, what I've done is I've marked out, just see there, where I'm going to drill a hole to get this to sit over this rod which is obviously way too long at the moment. That'll enable me then to uh, mark out where the holes for here are gonna go. And once I've got all of that together, I'll be able to then finalize the shape of this piece. But I think we're looking roughly okay there. We're gonna clear all the belts and we're not gonna have anything in the way uh, causing sort of sharp edges or anything. Based on the assumption that you've all drilled holes before and that watching me drill some holes would neither be entertaining nor educational i haven't bothered showing the drilling of the holes but there we go we've got that mounted on the front there and it sits right where it needs to sit against the water pump there now what i have done if i just flip that down out of the way is used a pair of calipers here to measure the pitch center of these two bolts, which I'll then be able to transfer onto the workpiece, mark out the holes, drill the holes, and then again, test for alignment. And as I say, after that, we can pretty it all up. We can round the edges, we can check for clearance against the cooling fan here, and we can clearance everything else around here, make sure there's no uh, sharp burrs um, that could cause weakness or could slice your hand off. And there we have one completed mounting bracket. Looks pretty much like ones you will see if you uh, Google Y block alternator mount. And uh, it's nice and solid, nice and stiff with that line down there and these lines folded in at the edge there. All I need to do now is simply just sort of mark off some more attractive curves on the edge there give it a dust over with a uh, sander disc sand that up neaten up that center part there and then it's really a case of paint it black and put it back 